and they they were judged out of the deeds that they done. Uh -huh. The angels are the ones that are keeping the witness. Uh -huh. They are the ones that's keeping the record. Not only bad, because remember Satan went back and forth with Job, talking about when the children of God went up to God, then the angel, the devil showed up with him, mm -hmm. and he was saying, yeah, yeah, I was a, them jokers didn't even know, I don't think they even knew who the devil was. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. But he's going back, and the Bible says he's an accuser of the brethren. Mm -hmm. He's always saying, because he's at, mad at the fact that God made man a little better than him. Even though he's an angel, has more power, he knows that God has redeemed man. He don't like that. He don't like that. So he hates man. That's why he jumped on the woman, because the woman was the closest thing to man. That's why I tell you women to be careful of... wrong. Somebody got to try to be right. Amen. And remember, don't forget in the word of God, a woman is to help me, not to help destroy. So if you let the devil use you in rebellion, you'll be just helping destroy the man, which is what the devil wants to do in the first place. And he don't mind using you to do it. Can I get a witness? Amen. So you don't want to do that. You want to uh, let, the, let the Lord have his way. Can I get a witness? Amen. So you want to rebuke the devil, and if you find yourself being rebellious, because you're human, you're human, right? But you want to say, okay, even if you don't say it in front of the man or in front of the woman, we put it both ways, you go behind closed doors and say, Lord, I know I'm what's wrong, right? Help me to be a better man. Help me to be a better woman. Praise the Lord. All right, let's go. 24. Wherefore God also gave them up to the uncleanness through the lust of their own heart. Uh-oh, hold up now. It's saying, therefore... God gave them up to uncleanness. In other words, because they knew the right thing to do, would not do the right thing, refused to do the right thing, right? Mm -hmm. God changed and gave them up to do what they want to do wrong. Mm -hmm. Hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. uh, that was dumb. Praise the Lord, part three. Uh, we're in uh, the, 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 the Romans chapter one, verse 24. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts. Go ahead. To dishonor their own bodies. To dishonor, not honor, but to dishonor their own bodies. That sounds like homosexuality, fornication, adultery. You understand? It, it might seem good when you're doing sin. Sin seems good, right? But it's not good. It's not good. It might feel good, but it's not. Praise the Lord. It's nothing like when God can cleanse your mind and put you on the right track. But what he's saying, these men and women, they had the right track, but they wouldn't do the right thing. So he turned them over. See, this is what we got to watch out. See, because this is what we think. We think because God is merciful, right? He's going to keep on forgiving us. That's what you hear people say. God will forgive me, right? He'll forgive you if you're really trying with your heart. But when you practice sin to be rebellious, he will turn you over to this. Wherefore, God also gave them up to an uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. He gave them up. Mm -hmm. You don't want God to give you up. Maybe that should be the title of this sermon. God, don't give me up. Mm -hmm. Don't give me up. God, please don't give me up. Mm -hmm. Don't give up on me. Amen? That's like if you got a good man, you got a good woman, don't give up on me. I know I'm not right in some areas, mm -hmm. but don't give up on me. Stay with me. Help me. Praise the Lord. I need somebody. Can I get a witness? It's nothing like when you have somebody there for you. Can I get a witness? And it's nothing like when you have God there for you. Can I get a witness? All right, go ahead. Five. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Uh-oh, they changed the truth into a lie. That's dangerous when you change a truth into a lie. God Almighty, that means you're dangerous. Can I get a witness? Go ahead. Serve the more than the you see what I'm saying? They serve, they worship and serve the creatures. Things that God made, they're going to leave. Mm -hmm. 
Go ahead. On this call God give them up unto veil affliction. All right, because of this, because of what? Because they changed the truth of God into a lie, God gave them up to vile. That means unsanitary, worthless, un, un, unclean, uh, 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 eat, eat, what's the word I'll eat? Infected. Infected affections. Mm -hmm. That means sickening affections, right? Yeah. Go ahead. For even their women did change the nature, the natural use into that which is against nature. For even the women did change the natural use into that which is against right. nature. That sounds like lesbianism. Praise mm -hmm. the Lord. And anything else. Whether it be sexual or or moral or whatever, it, it was not right. Whatever it means, they, their mind is just gone. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Whatever was wrong, they did it. Go ahead. And likewise, also the men. And likewise, also the men. Uh -huh. Leaving the natural use of the women. The men are leaving the natural use of the women. Burning their lust. Now, this is what makes me think it's sex. Because it said, burn in their lust. One towards another. What? Men with men, right? Yeah. Go ahead. Working that which is unseemly. Uh oh, working that which is unseemly. In other words, that which is not natural. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was met. In other words, they receiving from God, they're going to receive bad from God because this is what they deserve. Mm -hmm. Okay? Recompense means your payment. Of their error means they're wrong, which was me, which was just, which is what supposed to be. In other words, God is fair. He's going to give you what you deserve. You reap what you sow. Galatians 6 and 7. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. Hold it. They don't want to keep God in their knowledge. In other words, you know how you teach somebody something and they act like they learned by themselves? They don't want to give you no credit, right? You done did all that, all that scuffling and huffling, right? Amen. They was a slow student. I, you know what I mean? It's slow. I don't understand. Can you show me? You show them over and over again. And when they finally get it, I got it. Now they act like you don't even exist. Yeah. Looking at them. Then they bragging to people. Yeah, look what I know. Yeah. And you sitting there with your arm like, <laughs> do you know how hard it was for me to teach him or her? Praise the Lord. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, Lord. See, I'm a hard teacher on some things. Some things I can learn fast. Some things you have to hold my hand. How could I dare, once I learn it, after I know that you sat with me time after time and time with your patience, right? Uh -huh. And then when I learn it, now I'm not going to give you no credit? Whew, that's demonic. Uh -huh. That's demonic. And, but some people take it. They're like, wow. Ain't you, aren't you something? Uh -huh. Go ahead. And gave them over to a reprobate <laughs> mind. Huh? And gave them over to a reprobate mind. And gave them over to a reprobate mind. Do you know what reprobate mind means? That means a, a mind that's ungodly. It don't even think about God. Look up the word reprobate. Reprobate means un, uh, unmerciful, unreligious, ungodly. ungodly. That's ungodly. Praise the Lord. Ungodly, ungodly mind. Oh, yeah. Now, you know all that God, but all that God is in you is doing nothing. It's just like... Nothing. You know it, but it's doing you no good. Because you have a reprobate mind. Go ahead. But what? God gave them over to a reprobate mind. Why? Because while they had the knowledge, when you have the knowledge, you're supposed to be doing something with the knowledge. Uh -huh. You're supposed to, if God give you a gift, you're supposed to do something with the gift for God. You don't give it to Satan. Huh? Because if you do, God will give you over to a reprobate mind. Go ahead. God, don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. In other words, this is telling you that God can give up on you. Huh? He don't just give up on you for nothing. He gives you plenty of time. In other words, this is what I think about God since it says he's merciful and he's long-suffering. I think he looks down and he says he knows your future. He said, this person don't plan to get saved. They plan to use me because they don't re really believe in hell. So he may try to get the message of hell to you because hell would make, I think hell would make anybody, anyone decide to do what's right. Don't you think so? I'm like, okay, come on now. But some people, if the devil get on them that strong, they just don't get it. They're like, it ain't no hell. I have people that I talk to, they like, there's no hell. I don't care if you show them scripture, they like, there's no hell. What are you, what's wrong with you? They have a reprobate mind. Go ahead. To do things, to do those things, 
which are not convenient. So when God lets them free to do whatever they want to do, guess what? They're going to do whatever they want to do. And if God has chosen not to reach them, you try to reach them as long as you can. But once you notice that they're not really trying, it's best to leave them alone. Because you know what? It's like a drowning person. You know what they say about a drowning person, right? You go to try to grab them, they'll drown you. Unless you knock them out or something. You know what I'm saying? And all the, to save them, you got to fire. Because if you don't, they're going to fight you. They're going to fight you. And if you're not the best swimmer and the stronger than they are, because they're in a panic, right? They're going to fight you with everything. And they're excited. They're they rebellious, all that. And they're going to push you down, right? You mess around, drown, and try to help them. You got to go over there with, the, with, the, with a headstrong mind. Knowing already that if they start fighting, I'm going to clunk this joker just as sure as you want. Amen. And you can talk about your knot later as long as you know I saved you. Praise the Lord. You'd rather have a knot and be saved, right? <laughs> I'm just saying, you don't have to have a knot, but I'm just being dramatic, right? I'd rather have a knot and be saved than to be dead and drowned. Amen. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Go ahead. 29. Be filled. With all unrighteousness. Uh-oh, once they get that mind, they be filled with all unrighteousness. In other words, unrighteousness can keep on coming like a domino effect. First you start with the one domino, what happens? It knocks down all the rest, right? So it opens the door. Do you understand what I'm saying? You thought that they was only mediocrely bad? All of a sudden they way into something way deep that you wouldn't even expect. Go ahead. Fornication. Fornication. Weakness. Wickedness. Come, come, covetousness, meaning they want things that belong to other people. Mm -hmm. Okay, they're full of envy. Oh, yeah, maliciousness, maliciousness, full of envy. Mm -hmm. uh, debate. Debate. In other words, they argue with you, but they arguing against the truth. They're not arguing for the truth; they arguing against it. Uh -huh. Praise the Lord. Go ahead. Um, De deceit. Deceit. I mean, they lie. They debate, they argue with you, and they come up with the best lie. You know the devil's the best lie. He came from heaven. He knows how to make a lie look just like the truth. Good God Almighty. of God. They don't love God, but they knew all about God. But now they hate God. So if they hate God, Jesus said in Matthew 10, 22, if they hated me, he said, the men, they'll hate you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, despiteful. Despiteful. Just do things just because. Proud. Proud. And into themselves. Bolsters. Bragging about themselves. Mm -hmm. Inventors of evil things. Inventors of evil things. You thought that it couldn't get no worse. It's like they invented something evil. Mm. Go ahead. Disobedient to parents. Disobedient to parents. You know people disobedient to parents. Who else you think they're going to listen to? Mm. Nobody. Go ahead. 31. Without understanding. Uh-oh, you talking to them. And sometimes they tell you they understand. And the next five minutes, they just as dumb as a rock. Like, I thought you understood. And they got so much hell in them, they can't stay focused. But the scripture says what? Without Understand. You go over it and over it, and you're trying to reach out to them because they tell you, oh, people don't love me. So you reach out to them, but they don't have an understanding. Not for the right thing. They got an understanding for the wrong thing. Oh, they get that quick, fast, and in a hurry. You can you don't have to tell them. They they graduates in that. Go ahead. Covenant breakers. A covenant breakers. Meaning covenant is like a like 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 a, a, a vow. Because covenant is what God makes between you and him mm -hmm. and he don't break his vow yeah, but you him. break your vow like mm -hmm. when people say well god let me know this reprobate of mine is not god left you first you left god remember we go back and said they knew god but they took the truth of god and made it into a, a lie mm -hmm. god didn't walk away from them first he gave them the opportunity to see how far we're going to go praise the lord mm -hmm. and once he see you want to go out there with the devil get, remember we do have freedom of choice Huh? God is not going to make you serve him. Mm -hmm. 
He'll, he'll chastise you. Hebrews chapter 12. He'll get on you. He'll let the devil whoop your butt. So you'll say, oh, because usually when something bad to us happens, we'll say, oh, I did something wrong. Let me pray. Let me get myself back together, right? But some people just become mean. Mm -hmm. God, like God just opposing, just shower you with love. Look, in a relationship, my man, my woman just supposed to shower me with love, but I can do whatever I want. I don't have to be appreciative. you supposed to. Mommy and daddy supposed to because they my parents. I don't have to be a good child, but they just supposed to. We got that supposed to with God. God, don't 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 get rid of me. Praise the Lord. Go ahead. Uh, all natural affection. They don't have natural affection. They got to get drunk. They got to get high. They got to do something. Praise the Lord because it's not there naturally. Go ahead. Implacable. Implacable. I don't even know what that means. Look yeah. like implacable. Yeah. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Unmerciful. Unmerciful means. They want you to forgive them? Hmm. Do something to them. Hmm. You ever had a person you ask them for something? They say no. <laughs> but when you ask, when they asking you, they can't take no for an answer. Hmm. Good God of mine. Hmm. Hallelujah. Hmm. Hallelujah. When they say no, they mean they no mean and no. don't ask me no more. That's right. But if you say no hmm. because you believe in God, they like, yeah, you don't really mean it. They try to work on your last nerve. I heard a lady say to me the other night, they work on my, my reserve nerve. That's mm. the first time I heard that. <laughs> Praise the Lord. She said they work on my reserve nerve. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, go ahead. 32. Who knowing the judgment of God. Who knowing the judgment of God. That they which commit. This is what I want us to look at. They know the judgment of God. Listen to that, ladies and gentlemen. Mm -hmm. They know what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. They know that there's a hell. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. God, right? Mm -hmm. Not just because somebody said it, not just because I heard it, but it became part of my life, huh? But I keep on doing the same old thing. If that be the case, I want to get down on my knees. Can I get a witness? Oh, yeah. And say, yeah. God, forgive me. Awesome. Clean me up and turn me around. Can I get a witness? Oh, yeah. Place my feet on <laughs> solid ground. You ever see a, one of the old westerns and, or anything in the wood, they step into something that looked like mud and they think they're going to cross, but the mud is quicksand, huh? Mm -hmm. And they just keep going down. And some people, they don't, they, if they can't find that, they can't help you. I don't want to be in the quicksand. Amen. Sin is like quicksand. Can I get a witness? You can't get out if nobody don't give you a helping hand. You can't get yourself out. But you need somebody to throw you a rope, throw you a strong tree, throw something to you so you can hold on and they can pull you back to the ground. Can I get a witness? Amen. Amen. I don't want the Lord to let me go. Amen. God, don't leave me alone. Don't leave us alone. God, I know that there are things in my life that are worthy of death. Uh -huh. But please, God, help me to change. Uh -huh. Amen. That's what repentance is about, brothers and sisters. It's about asking the Lord to please forgive me. The Lord, don't let me go down to the grave without being saved. Uh -huh. Because Revelation chapter 20 says that uh, the devil that deceived them was cast into the lake of fire. Can I get away then? And he was there with the beast and the false prophet. Uh, I don't know where people came up with that story that Satan is ruling hell. and Like he's some big man in hell. To have no parts of hell. Huh? And then it says, and then the books were open, huh? and the dead were standing before God. Huh? And we talked about the last time that when you're dead, you're usually laying down. So if you're standing, that means that there's life in you enough to get judged. Can I get away there? So since the Bible is saying here in Romans 1, who knowing the judgment of God, 
but they that commit such things are worthy of death. I want to stop anything. Lord, help me stop anything that's worthy of death. For the wages of sin is death. But thanks be unto God, beloved brothers and sisters, that the gift of God is eternal life. Can I get away this? So I don't want to keep on doing things that's worthy of death. And just because you tell me what, I'm going to spite you, I'm going to go to hell to spite you. You tell me to do what's right, I tell you to do what's right, but you just going to do wrong because I told you. Because I'm not God. Well, God is working through us. The message of Satan works through you and me if we're going to be worked by Satan. But if you're working for God, the message of God comes through you and me. We are to tell our brothers and our sisters and our neighbors, God loves you. Come on, brother. Don't do that. Come on, sir. But you so I'm not God, so you just going to go to hell. Lord, have mercy. I don't want to go to hell. You may not be God, but I want to hear God in you. Can I get a witness? I'd rather hear God in you than hear Satan in you. Can I get a witness? I don't want to hear you telling me to get drunk. I don't want to hear you telling me, amen, to do wrong. Can I get a witness? I want to hear you tell me, well, Jesus is coming. Amen. It's going to be better after a while. I want to hear you telling me to hold on. And that's what I'm here to tell you today. I want to hear you. Amen. Tell God, please don't turn your back on me, God. God, don't give up on me. I might have said some things that are wrong, but God, please don't give up on me. I might have done some things that are wrong, but God, please don't give up on me. Because if you come down and you blow on me, Lord, these old bones, like you did in the valley of dry bones, with Ezekiel, huh? you can bring me back to life. Huh? Even though Satan has tried to kill us, huh? we can live. Huh? Can I get a witness? Huh? He'll blow on you. Huh? He'll be a miracle worker in your life. Huh? Can I get a witness? Huh? You might have sickness in your life, huh? but I'm here to tell you, huh? no matter what you've been going through, huh? he's still a miracle worker. Huh? He's still in the healing business. Huh? Maybe you say, well, I ain't seen a healing in a long time. Huh? I haven't seen a miracle in a long time. Don't just look for the miracle. Look for the word of God. Because when you least expect it, when you least expect it, the spirit of the Lord will step on in your body and everything will be all right. What I want to do, regardless of how I'm feeling, I want to be on God's good side. Can I get over this? Let me close here. Please, Lord, don't turn your back on me. Don't give up on me. Can somebody say, Please, please, please don't give up on me. Please hold on to me. Please hold my hand. Yeah. Hallelujah. I just want you, God, to hold my hand. Yeah, Lord. I know sometimes I'm wretched and undone, but please, Lord, wipe away the sin and give me the strength to be saved. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. One of these morning. He's going to step on the cloud. Jesus, the Macalam of God. Jesus, the Alpha and Omega. Jesus, the beginning and the end. Jesus, the role of Sharon. Jesus, the one who was dead, but is now alive. Jesus, the one who walked the earth. The one they put crown of thorns on his head. The one they hung. Amen. They crucified him, but they couldn't keep him in the grave. He won against the devil. He won against death. He won against the grave. And he'll win right now. He's the winner. I want to be on the winning side. Is it all right? Hallelujah. I'm real with this. I'm in this mode of life. Amen. I don't know what the next thing holds, but I want to be saved. Can I get a witness? Amen. I want to be saved. God bless you. And may heaven smile upon you. Be our prayer. I'm asking the Lord, hold our hand. Don't let me go, God. I might have been weak, but God, thou art strong. Amen. I'm not claiming to be strong without you. I don't want to be like them to take his righteousness and make it unrighteous. If it say it, it is what it is. If God said it, that settles it. If I'm wrong, I'm just wrong. Then help me to get right. Can I get a witness? Mm -hmm. Have mercy on me. Have mercy. Have mercy on me, Lord. According to your loving kindness, mm -hmm. according to your tender mercy, blot out my transgressions. Hallelujah. Wash me with hyssop. Purge me and I shall be whiter than snow. 
hallelujah, for it's against you and you only, Lord, have I sinned and done this wrong. Help me, God. Hallelujah, that thy will be done. Can I get a witness? Hallelujah. All of my life, I will say yes, Lord. All of my life, I will say yes, Lord. All of my life, I will say yes, Lord. Please help me say yes. Help me say yes. Lord, help me say yes. God bless you. Oh, yes. May heaven smile upon you. Thank those of you that came out. And God bless. Hopefully that is an inspiration to your soul. Lord, please don't give up on me. That's my prayer. Amen. Lord, don't give up on me. Amen. 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 Family can give up on you, but Lord, don't give up on me. Amen. Someone else can give up on me, but Lord, don't give up on me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They may not say anything good about you, but if the Lord don't give up on you, he can say, well done. It'll pay for it all. Hallelujah.